Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre. Today we're going to be giving you a wetsuit fitting guide. So we're going to be jumping in a wetsuit and showing you what a good fit looks like. So we're going top to bottom, we'll go through every part of the suit that's critical to get right, show you what a good fit should look like and what a bad fit looks like. Okay, and then hopefully that'll help you when you're trying on a suit to know that the wetsuit does fit well, because fit is the most critical thing when it comes to buying a wetsuit, because it can be the best wetsuit in the world, but if it doesn't fit right, then it's not going to be fit for purpose. First, a few key things that's uh, worth mentioning a wetsuit essentially should fit like a second skin okay so it should be as tight as possible without being restrictive or uncomfortable so a lot of people say well i'm kind of between sizes it's always best to go down a size if you are go with the slightly tighter fit because wetsuits over time do stretch we're told up to about five or ten percent okay so you will get that stretch outwards and obviously that will mean the suit will fit better over time and obviously if it's a bit too big you can't sort of stretch down the other way so if you're between sizes, it's always best to go down a little bit but there's the key thing you're looking for like a second skin but obviously without being restrictive but what we're going to do now we're going to jump into a suit and then we'll go through the key points from top to bottom and show you what a good fit should look like okay so we've uh, popped on the wetsuit um, for your information um, I am a medium tall um, and in terms of my sort of like stature I'm six foot one um, probably shrinking as I get older, but six foot one currently and 80 kilos, okay, and a medium tall fits me absolutely perfect. This is an O'Neill Hyper Freak, but in most wetsuits, I'm a medium tall. Okay, so we're going to work through the uh, wetsuit from top to bottom and essentially show you the things that you should really be looking for, starting with around the neck. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about is the neck. This is probably one of the most vital parts of the wetsuit to get right, especially for surfers who are duck diving and relying on that good fit around the neck to stop flush throughs coming into the suit. Okay, now this is a surfing wetsuit or a multi-purpose wetsuit, so we're looking to fit slightly different than a triathlon or swimming wetsuit. Triathlon or swimming wetsuits will fit at the base of the neck, okay, so that when you're swimming, it's not going to rub up and down your neck and create rash, okay, so most swimming wetsuits tend to fit at the base of the neck nice and flat, okay, whereas something like this, a swimming or a multi-purpose wetsuit, you're looking for it to fit just below the midpoint of the neck, okay, uh, and that means basically creates a good seal the whole way around, tight without being restricted. And one thing that you're really looking for it not to do is to have a gap at the back. So if you come around the back here, one way to test this is if you lean forward, so you're like mimicking a duck dive when you're surfing, the key thing is to make sure you can't really slide a finger down the back here. So it's a nice tight seal, no water is going to flush in when you're sort of leaning forward. So when you're trying on the wetsuit, it's a good thing to try. Just lean forward and see if you can slip a finger down the back, okay? Now, the wetsuit, as we say, should finish midpoint or just below the midpoint of the neck. If it's too low, we're going to show you sort of what a bad fitting wetsuit looks like now. If it fits too low, then you create more gaps. It's stretching too far. It's probably too small, basically. And so the wetsuit will pull away from your neck and you'll get those flush throughs and it'll also finish too low on your neck. If it's too high on your neck, so it's finishing at the base of your head, at the very top of your neck, as you sort of swim and surf, uh, and that movement is going to create it to a rub along the base or the top of your neck, and you're going to get really bad chafing. So this is the ideal fit, okay? And just remember that little test. Lean forward, test it with your finger, but these are the key things to look for around the neck part of the suit. Okay, so next we're looking at the fit around the shoulders, chest, and under the arms and the upper back. So as you can see, there's no gaps under the arms there. There's no folding up of the material, no bunching going on. So what tends to happen is there'll be a lot of bunching under the arms here if it's too tight around the chest and too tight around the lats and shoulders. Also, if it's too wide across the shoulders, then there's a seam under here that you will see. That will be poking out over here if it is too short in the shoulders. So you want to make sure that that seam is sitting nicely under that zip area. Um, if we get Jeff to turn around, you can see the fit across the laps and across the back. One of the other key points to mention, if it's too small or too short, is that this material will start to sheen up. So there'll be a big shine across the material if it's being stretched too much. But like I said, this is a perfect fitting wetsuit. Okay, so that is a perfect fitting wetsuit across the uh, neck, chest, shoulders, and back there. Up next, we're looking at the torso and the lumbar region of this suit, just making sure that it's a really nice, good fit. It's pulling in really nicely around the torso there. Round the back, you can see the curvature of the spine there. So that means it's pulling into that lumbar region nicely, covering the kidneys. If Jeff keeps turning around, 
you can see how that just pulls up really nicely and it's not actually pulling away from his body at any point now. And that is exactly how you want that to fit to keep you nice and warm out there. Okay, so any gaps there, that would essentially mean that it's a ill-fitting wetsuit. So we'd either need to look at another size or maybe look at another style. Okay, so next we're talking about essentially the length of the wetsuit. So this is going to be your wrists, this is going to be around the cuffs, around your ankles as well, to make sure that they fit well. It essentially comes down to the length of the wetsuit, okay, and getting that right, okay. Um, if we look at the wrists first off, um, you'll be able to see that the uh, wetsuit comes down nicely without any folds or creases around the arms. And the actual sort of uh, cuff itself is right down by the joint between the wrist and the arm and the forearm, basically. It's really essential to get this right, especially in winter wetsuits, because obviously your glove's going to be going underneath this, okay? Uh, and if it doesn't uh, sort of marry up well, you're going to get water coming inside the glove or up your sleeve. So that's the way you're looking for the cuffs to finish. And it's going to be the same around the ankles as well. Excuse me, I've got my socks on because it's cold. Uh, but the ankle, the length of the suit is coming all the way down to the bottom, right by the ankle. So that's going to marry up really well uh, around the, uh, with, the, uh, with the wetsuit boot. And around the back of the legs, oh, the length is good because I've got no creasing around the back of the knees. That's a telltale sign if the wetsuit's either too long. Uh, and that's good on these sort of forearms, you don't have that as well. Uh, so that's a way to tell that the wetsuit is a good length. And another key indicator of that, if the wetsuit's too short rather than too long, if the wetsuit's too short, like Dino said, it will pull over the back. So it will miss out dipping, if the, where the wetsuit's too short, it won't dip into your lumbar and it will pull over the lumbar basically. And then that wetsuit material isn't being allowed to sit next to your kidneys and it's not gonna keep you warm there. You're gonna get water, cold water pooling in there, okay? Okay, so that's everything you essentially should be looking for in a good fitting wetsuit. You go into finite detail, detail, but essentially those are the key things. But you'll know as well when you put on the wetsuit, if it's too restrictive, you might not be able to breathe very well. You won't really be able to sort of move your shoulders very well. You'll feel very restrictive. And if it's too big, you'll feel gaps around your body. But um, if you go through that sort of checklist, uh, essentially you can't really go wrong.